Hi. Today, Vacuum Cleaner Advisor is going to take a quick look at the Dirt Devil AccuCharge handheld vacuum. We bought this vacuum at Amazon for about 44 US dollars. It's a pretty straightforward machine. You get the vacuum, which comes with the battery, a filter on the inside, a couple of built in tools, and the charger. The battery is nickel cadmium. It can take about six hours to fully charge, and it has a run time in the neighborhood of 10 minutes. Um, when you're storing the vacuum, you can leave it in the charger uh, because the AccuCharge system detects when the battery is fully charged and it reduces power to a bare trickle, which is just enough to keep the battery topped up. There are two built in tools a brush tool and a crevice tool. We'll look at those in short order. Um, We've read that some owners find the handheld to be a little heavy. It weighs 3.25 pounds. Um, we don't find it to be particularly heavy, but that said, we don't use it for long periods of time. It's also a bit noisy, as you can see. This is another concern from some consumers, but it's not something we find particularly problematic. Uh, the unit has pretty good suction, and we're now going to run it through a few quick carpet and bare floor tests. As previously mentioned, the AccuCharge has two built-in tools. There's the brush built into the bottom. You can push it forward. Sometimes it takes a bit of force. We don't, we don't find much use for this brush, so we don't really use it that often. And uh, retracts quite easily. The tool we do use is the crevice tool, which is built into the top of the machine. It's released quite easily. Push the button back and fold it forward. The key here is to, once it's extended fully, you have to push it in and that locks it into place. And then you can go about using it. To put it back, you pull it back out and down and it clicks into place. Now we're going to run the vacuum through a few paces. Um, on the right side of your screen you'll see very light caraway seeds. We'll see how it uh, does on those. And then on the left is a much heavier green pea. Well, it has a suction power to pick it up, but it's not particularly proficient on the, the carpet surface. It's definitely got the power to pick it up. The built-in crevice tool is quite helpful at getting into tight corners. Um, here, there's a bit of a recess in the wall, and we'll try to get at these caraway seeds without the crevice tool. As you can see, it does a fairly good job, but right in tight against the wall, you're really missing the pickup. We'll engage the crevice tool. really helps uh, concentrate the suction. A lot of households have pets, so we wanted to see how the AccuCharge would do on pet hair on carpet. In this case, we've got white rabbit hair on the carpet. As you can see, it's having a bit of a problem pulling the hair out of the carpet. And this is likely because the unit does not have a brush bar like most uh, full-size vacuums. Um, some handhelds do have brush bars, and that really does help dig up uh, dirt and hair out of the carpet. However, we have noticed that when we use the crevice tool with this machine, it does help. crevice tool allows you to dig into the carpet a little bit. Although, if you had a larger area to clean, that could be a bit troublesome. Now we'll take a look at the performance of the vacuum on bare floors. 
We'll start with the same light seeds and then move on to the green peas. That's a fairly good job. It's struggled a little bit with the heavier peas, but all in all, not bad at all. Emptying the handheld is also quite easy. There's a cup release button on the top. We press this, the nose comes off. You see a filter on the inside. This filter comes out. It can get a bit grungy. We take the debris on the inside, straight into the bin. Filter itself, um, they say, or Dirt Devil say, you shouldn't wash it, nor should you brush it. They ask you just simply to bang it off inside the rubbish bin till, till most of the dust and debris are off it, personally. If you got pet hair, I'd be tempted to pull some off like I'm doing here. That stuff doesn't want to come out easily slips back in um, quite easily. Okay, just fits in and then snaps back together. You're good to go. When you finish vacuuming, you simply put the unit back into its charging stand. That will get it charging and ready for its next use. You can actually see a red light on the top that indicates when the unit is charging. Now all in all, we like this handheld. It has sufficient power to do small cleanups on both carpet and bare floors. It's easy to maintain and it's not too expensive. Now, some consumers indicate they don't like the weight. Now, I suppose if you were to vacuum for 10 minutes at a time with this machine, it could stress your arm a bit. It does weigh 3.25 pounds. Also, uh, we wouldn't really recommend it for dealing with pet hair, pet hair on upholstery or carpet. You may want a unit with a brush bar for that kind of thing. In addition, some owners don't like the loud noise. Uh, but frankly, none of these were big issues for us, and this is one of the vacuums we use frequently. Thanks for watching.